Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom envelopes using Microsoft Word's mail merge feature that will really attract attention when they show up in your customer's mailbox. So to start with, I'm going to start with a blank document. So I'll go to File, choose a new blank document. And because I'm doing the mail merge, I'll go over to the Mailings tab. The next thing I need to do is either create a list, which I showed you in my Mail Merge Start to Finish video, or use an existing list. And in this case, I'm going to use an existing list that I've already created. I'm going to use the client's data file. Um, as I mentioned before, this file is actually available on, on my website where you can experiment with. Hopefully, though, you would use your own customers. So I'll go ahead and click Open. Now I'm going to tell Microsoft Word that I'm going to be doing envelopes. So I'll go to the Start Mail Merge tool and I'll select Envelopes. Next I have to tell Microsoft Word what kind of envelope, what size of envelope I'm using. And I am going to be using the size 10, which is the standard business size envelope. Uh, that's the easiest to print with if you're actually going to be using a printer to print the envelopes, which of course I hope you are, which is really the purpose of uh, what we're doing here with the mail merge. So I click OK and now I have an envelope document. Now my next step would be to type uh, the return address up here in the envelope and I just happen to have one in the clipboard here so I don't have to type it. And so I'm using Harry's Hatchery again as I did in my other video on mail merging. Now what I'd like to do now is really attract the customer's attention when they see this envelope. And so I'm going to insert some word art here that will be customized with their name in it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go into insert and I will choose word art. And I'm going to stick with a similar blue that uh, the mailing address is written in. Okay. Now I am first going to erase the text that's already here. And uh, just, just a word of caution here, I have noticed that if you don't go in this order uh, that I'm, I'm stepping you through, you may run into a little bit of a problem with the word art, but uh, you'll, you'll figure it out. Okay, so in this case, the first thing I want to do is have the individual's name, the customer's name here, because what I want to say here is, Fred, don't miss this sale, or Adam, don't miss this sale. So I'm going to go back to the mailings tab, and I'm going to insert a merge field, which is really cool that you can do this inside word art, and I choose first name. So there's the first name field. I'll add a space and a couple of exclamation points here. Well, obviously this is kind of overkill on the envelope. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to select the text, go back to the Home tab, and I'm going to change it to about, oh, 18 points would be about right. Now I'm also going to kind of uh, rotate it a little bit here, just so it attracts attention. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is go down into the address block area. Uh, this is where each individual's address is going to be uh, placed when we do the mailing mail merge. And I'll go back to the mailings tab. And assuming that my fields are uh, named correctly, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, which they are in this case, I'll go ahead and choose the format that I want for the return address. And uh, this gives me the company name, and the individual's name as well as the address. So I'll click OK. And there I have the address block. So I've got the return address. I've got a customized message to attract the attention when it shows up in the mailbox. Now I'm going to be ready to go ahead and do the merge. So I'm going to go finish and merge. And I'm going to once again edit individual documents so I can see the result. I'll choose all documents. And there we have Adam don't miss this sale. Kathy don't miss this sale. Marvin don't miss the sale. Very, very easy to create custom envelopes using Microsoft's mail merge feature. And remember, the instructions for this are available on my website, luthermaddy.com. All right, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you can, and we'll see you in the next video.